Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 93. Today we're gonna to be talking about how perfectionism often ruins your productivity. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the show. Okay guys, so today I wanted to talk about how perfectionism often ruins productivity. I've talked about this sort of, I know I mentioned it a lot in some of my um, cleaning episodes, and I believe I've also talked about um, progress over perfection before um, in another episode a while back, but it was just something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, and um, it, I just wanted to do another episode on it. So, since this isn't a frugal topic, um, I will be adding in my frugal tip of the week, because I always like to keep some frugal aspect of the episodes, of my weekly episodes on Mondays. Um, so this week, and I'm not sure if I shared this previously, but this is one of my favorites. My frugal tip of the week this week is if you're not already doing this, um, which many of you might already be doing this, but if you're not, um, if you if you like to read books um, or listen to audiobooks or regular reading books like a Kindle or on the phone uh, or any type of device you can read like a, a electronic book, um, Check if your library has a free app to download, um, to, to borrow books on. Um, I started doing this about a year ago or so, I guess, and it's like my favorite thing ever. It's totally free. You never have to even step foot in the library. You do if you don't have an active library card. I found, When I went to get the app, I found that I owed like 36 cents or something to the library from a book I had taken out God knows how long ago. And um, I went down to the library, I paid my fine, they reactivated my card and I downloaded the app and I've been borrowing, I can't even imagine how many books I borrowed this year, way past what my reading goal was. Um, Cause it's so easy and you can renew them. And the, like I said, it's audiobooks and regular books and it's totally free. So you do have to wait sometimes if a book's really popular, um, but you can put a hold on it and then it tells you when it's available. So if you're not already doing that and you like reading, that's my frugal tip of the week. Okay, so anyway, back to the topic of this episode. So perfectionism, we could start out with what is perfectionism? So um, from Wikipedia, it defines perfectionism as a personality style characterized by a person's concern with striving for flawlessness and perfection and is accompanied by critical self-evaluation and concerns regarding others' evaluations. So that part I thought was kind of interesting because it's more about like what others think about if you did it perfect, which means there's not really a true definition of what perfect is. It's about who, what your perception is and what other people's perception is. Some, some aspects of perfectionism are good because they help us to strive to do better and always keep improving and that's really good. It's not that perfectionism, it's not that any aspect of perfection should be avoided. Of course, you always wanna try and improve and do the best job you can, but it's when it starts holding you back that it becomes a problem. And often, where perfectionism starts holding you back is because it can often lead to pro procrastination. So some, sometimes, um, if you wanna get something done and you wanna get it done perfectly, you need to make sure you have exactly the right amount of time available, you have all the correct tools available. Well, what if that's not the case? So does that mean you can't just try and get it done so that it's done and it's pretty good, but it's not like 100% the way you wanted it? Like for example, now by the way, I'm not good at, at examples. <laughs> I love this material, and but I'm just not, good at coming up with examples to kind of, um, like in theory, I, I can think of how this would apply to my life, but then when I try and think of a great example to give, it's not my strong suit. So this example that I thought of is, say your clothes in your closet and your dresser drawers are starting to have a bit too many clothes squished in them. Like you're getting to the point where when you're putting your clothes away, you notice you have to kind of push things down a little bit to shove the drawer or your hangers are a little too tight in your closet. So, what you might wanna do is say, okay, well, I've got way too many clothes. I have to um, go through all of these clothes, decide what I'm gonna give to charity, maybe see if anything has to go in the garbage, like if there's any like socks with tears in them or anything like that. 
Uh, some things might need to be packed away for another season. And then you're thinking about all this stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, there's just no way I have time to do all that. I'll have to wait until I have like a day I can dedicate to just going through all these clothes. So you don't wind up doing any of it. So when weeks continue to go by and those several hours never freed up in your life for you to go through all these clothes and go through your closet, and go through your drawers, you're basically in the same situation you were at because you're waiting for that perfect time and the perfect situation to get something done about this little problem that you're having. So what if instead, when you're putting away your clothes, you pick out a few things that you no longer use, throw them in a bag for charity, throw the bag in your car, and next time you pass the location of wherever you donate your things to, it's already there, you get rid of the bag. Did you perfectly reorganize and sort through all your clothes? No. But did you make an improvement to something that needed to be done? Yes. So it's like, it's those kinds of little things where when you're waiting for the timing and everything to be perfect, you can wind up procrastinating and not making progress at all because of the fact that the situation isn't just perfect. And I, and I definitely think that this happens often with people who want to do things just the right way because you look at the project and you think, I, I can't do this yet because I don't have like a full day to devote to it. Or, well, I need to go out to the store and I need to get new containers to do this storage. Or I need like this certain type of cleaning product or whatever it is. Like if, you, if you're always waiting for that right time and exact right situation, it can definitely wind up causing you to get less done because of the fact that you want to get it done perfect. So it's better to have it done not perfect than to not ever get it done at all because you keep putting it off waiting for that perfect time. Um, It can also make you become less effective. When you focus on getting everything done perfectly, some of the extra little touches that you're spending time on might not really be worth the effort. You have to really think about what it is that you're spending that time on to get everything just exactly right and just consider the benefits. In some situations, it is important. There's certain things that you do want those perfect little touches. You know, maybe if you're doing something artistic and you want those perfect little finishing touches or whatever it is, there's definitely times when those little touches can be important. But you just have to consider what you're working on and is it worth the time to get it just quite right? So like one little example I can think of for this is, um, and again, I don't get to come up with the greatest examples, but it's more just to illustrate the point. So um, for example, say if you were reconciling your checking account and you're off by $2, some people will take the time to spend an enormous amount of time to find that $2. So and I'm just using $2 as an example, but whatever, something pretty small. So if you think about it, is it really worth your time to go digging back through everything to find that $2, or can you just make an adjustment for $2 and move on and get a ton more things done with your day? Because usually, especially when it's something small like that, it's you transposed a number or whatever, or you, you, know, you missed a digit when you were typing something in, and it's gonna take checking every single transaction to find that $2. So that's kind of what I'm saying about like those little, details like really consider if it's worth your time or if how you did it is really pretty good and you can just say okay this is great I'm going to move on and get other things done because you'll feel much better if you get a bunch of things done like say that day you were going to spend that time finding the two dollars on your checking so then you didn't wind up getting the rest of your laundry put away or um, you didn't finish like getting the dishes unloaded or whatever so I think you would feel much better if you had all those three things done than just the checking and you found the $2. So, you know, you you definitely um, have to consider the value of the time that you're putting into these things. Another um, thing, and this this kind of ties back, I think all of this kind of winds up tying back to the procrastination aspect of this. I, I think that's kind of the whole thing about perfectionism and when it's impacting you too much, it, it basically leads to procrastination. So, um, cause another example I was kind of thinking of is I think often it's better for us to just jump into a project 
that we're not totally sure how to do and just give it a shot. Like, and I think that's that whole same thing because you're, when you get a project to do, whether it's at home or at work or whatever, and it's something you really want to do or something you have to do. Um, my children are screaming upstairs, like not being bad, but they're teenagers and they have a friend over. I hope you guys can't hear that. They're like watching something on TV. It's really just got distracting to me because I could hear them like howling. <laughs> so I hope you can't hear that. But anyway, sorry for the disruption. Um, so you ever get like one of those projects and you are like not really sure how to start it. So you just don't. And th this happens to me at work sometimes. I'll get given something that I'm really not familiar with. It's important to get done, but I have no idea how to approach it. And often, I'll just let it sit there until it's getting close to the point where like, okay, this is due, I have to get it done. And it's because I wanna make sure I do a really good job on it, but I don't know how to approach it. So it's that whole perfectionism thing. Like I wanna get it done perfectly, but I don't know how to do it perfectly and I don't even how to do I'm not even sure if I know how to do it at all so I'm just going to kind of put it aside and not address it if you can just jump right into those projects without going through that period of time waiting until you're getting close to when you have to get it done how, don't you I, I'm sure everybody's had this situation happen before don't you always find that once you complete it you're like why didn't I just do this right away it was no big deal. Why was I thinking that this was gonna be such a difficult project to take on? It's, it's so often, once you just like dive in and start looking at the information or looking at the tasks you're, you're working on, maybe it's reorganizing a room or um, painting something or I don't know, whatever, cleaning something that's difficult, it seems like the thinking about it and the planning to get it just the way you think you're gonna to wanna to get it done is like so overrated because once you just jump in and do it, it often turns out to be so much easier than you thought it was gonna be. And if it doesn't, who cares? You were gonna have to do it anyway. So why not just jump in and get it done and then deal with whatever challenges, challenges come up rather than wasting that time and energy on thinking about what might come of it when you get it started. So that's, that's definitely, it, like I said, it all ties, ties back into this whole procrastination thing. But these are just kind of some examples that I can think of how it really can impact, um, you know, getting things done and, and it can it ruin your productivity in many different aspects of your life. So my suggestion is just to try to think about this perfectionism um, if you that you might have in some some different ways and just focus on doing the best that you can on whatever it is you're working on um, you know acknowledge yourself for getting stuff done even if it's not done in the way that you would think might be perfect um, maybe even just try to reconsider what your picture of perfect is can you lessen your expectations on on yourself in certain situations um, you know like I said in, in the beginning of the episode um, perfection is subjective. So what you think might be perfect, maybe there's someone that's going to be more critical that thinks it's still not good enough. And there's going to be other people that think it's way above their standard. Like it's all subjective. So maybe if you are putting too much pressure on yourself and trying to make things too perfect, which is causing you to have these issues of not getting as much stuff done as you could, maybe try and lessen what you consider to be perfect. Um, you, maybe you can make your new perfect be good enough. Um, and and I'm, not, I'm not saying in any way that you should be slacking off on things or getting things done in like a substandard way because I, I definitely agree with making a good product with whatever you're doing, whether it's work, home, whatever. I'm not saying just, you know, do things halfway and just kind of, but y you kind of have to, Put it into perspective. Um, if you have to fold laundry and you're short on time, everything doesn't have to be folded just so. You can kind of fold it in a quick way that things aren't going to be wrinkled, but they're not like perfectly folded. It's things like that that I'm talking about. It's just kind of um, approaching something, getting it done, getting it good enough to serve the purpose and only applying that need to want something to be perfect in situations that really need it. Because if you need every single thing to be perfect, you're putting so much pressure on yourself and you're probably 
allowing it to slow you down on getting things done because you're, um, it, it can often make you procrastinate. So that's all I have to say about that today. I hope that maybe this would be helpful um, to you guys in just kind of thinking about it and seeing, seeing if it is impacting you and maybe you can take off some of the pressure from yourself. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to reach out to me with any feedback or episode suggestions or anything like that, you can reach me at facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. You can um, send a message through the Facebook Messenger. Um, I also have a private listeners group that you can join, which is facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. Just submit a request to join. I always check it at least once a day, and I'll um, admit you into the group. We just talk about um, topics generally related to the show, share some tips and ideas and things like that. Um, Also, don't forget to subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to. And if you'd like to leave a review, it would be super, super appreciated. It's supposed to be really helpful in um, getting my show to come up better in search results. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day.